All right, welcome back to uh, to time in a hat. Where's my a flat three time? Hold on, where's my controller? Uh, there it is. All right. Oh hey, there's new challenge roads. Whatever. New challenge roads? Yeah, whatever that is. Okay. Oh, those are probably that's user made stuff. Okay. Uh, online party. The same as last time. That yeah, let sense. me do the. But you left. Oh. I left. No, oh, back, I was now. there for a second, and then I came back. Or I should be here now. Yeah, you're back. Uh, so, oh, uh, where last are you? Time. I'm loading. That's where I am. <laughs> I'm in the loading screen. I'm also checking, uh, I'm checking levels. So I'm multitasking right now. Okay. Uh, we've been away for a little while. I've been doing some solo stream as well. I've been you working. Were working, busy working. Yep. And I'm going back to work next week. Yep. So, uh, so it'll be a lot of solo streams for the both of us. Probably. I gotta be up at like 4 a.m. on Tuesday. Yeah, I heard about that. That sucks. Hello. Hello. I'm curious Hold on, I want to try stuff. something. Give me a second. I, I, I want to make sure I got enough uh, enough RAM going. Oh, hey, I don't, I don't have very many windows open. I've only you got, got other like processes 10. going on. I'm double checking. No, not really. I should just close all these uh, YouTube tabs. Good. They're all closed. That should that should free up some. But yeah, I don't have any. I don't have very many stuff going on. A hey, hat in time. There we go. Go. No. Oh, whoops. What? What'd you do? No, I, I have the I have the projectile badge equipped. I don't think we can hit each other in the spaceship anyway. So last time we left off, I think, had we just unlocked level four? We finished the we finished the first three. this one right, I think so. Uh, can I? You want? Okay, cool. Can you not go in? I had to un I had to manually unlock it. I just did the basement. So now we're in Alp. Yeah, we did everything so far. We did the theater section. We did the uh... mafia town and the forest. Yes. Uh, so. Apparently the forest was originally going to be level 2, but they bumped it up. Probably because it was so, uh... I, did, not knowing anything about this game when I went in the first time, I was expecting the big shadowy guy to be, the like, the big bad. But no, he's just some dude. He just lives in a forest. Hangs out. He's big and shadowy. Yeah. Was there anything I was area. No, not really. Wait. Sign... Do you have the Dweller Mask? Oh, yeah. That's right. I, sh I should equip that. Wait, what? Okay, it's... Oh. So this has another stand. It's the access point for the Nyakuza Metro. Which oh, whoops. Yeah. I uh, accidentally hit it. No, this isn't. This is a time rift. Okay, this well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the time rift. Get myself uh, reused to the controls. Bowser Jr. has stolen our flood. Uh, you see, uh, did you see any of the trailer stuff for Bowser 3D World? Oh, no, Mario? I didn't. No, I didn't. I know it was a thing, but... So, so what is it like? Uh, it looks like a port of 3D World. The oh, Bowser's just... Fury thing that was shown appears oh, to be... It looks like a like a Mario Odyssey kingdom. Oh, where there's something about that scale. With uh, Bowser Jr. is like your tag along buddy. He does stuff. Oh, what? Bowser and Jr. is Bowser like helping just, you? Yeah, but and Bowser is just like a giant kaiju in the background who shows up sometimes. My dad's gone crazy. Can you help me out? And you need to get enough not shine strikes TM in order to get the bell to turn super super Cyan. 
Oh. Cool. That, cool. That, was, that was the two things we saw in the trailer. We saw giant fury Bowser kaiju, and we saw Mario as a Super Saiyan cat. It's a uh, wacky. They don't deal damage, they just... They just... I think they need to hit you three times to damage you, but yeah. I... Just... Damn. They're just there to knock you around like little turds. I have to start from the beginning, I think. Yep. Oh no! No, I don't. <laughs> ah, these things. You can uh, do the homing attack to get them easily. I know. Last time I did it, though, I ended up knocking myself off. Yeah, right. Good luck with that. All right. It's like Mario, Mario but took a took a book from Sonic. Just learned the homing attack. New color. Oh, that looks. Oh, you got a new color. Yeah. Oh, you got the metallic. Oh, I need to update my. Uh, our, Sorry, minty fresh. Our avatars are out of date. We need to. We need. To... Oh, it's our Steam avatars. Yeah. Yeah. Need to add my uh, cool new one. I mentioned, uh, I don't, I don't think it was, I started it the last time we did Hat in Time, but I started some of the, the, like, DLC post-game ultra-hard missions, and they're hard as shit! Yeah. But they're too hard for me. I, I did, I did oh. go easy mode on a bunch of them. Oh, then in that case, I'm going to really enjoy that. Oh, what the? I look, I look faded. Oh, yeah. I wish you could see the, uh, I can see your color. But I guess you can't see my stuff. No. Maybe it's only the maybe it's only the paint that shows up. Did you uh, did you install any of the mods? No, not yet. No. Still, uh, still. Let me come back. Come back out to the lobby. Oh no, you're already there. Okay, I, well, I can hold still for a sec. All right. I put on the Sonic hat. Was it like ultra speed? Yeah. I didn't. What the? The emergency button, perfectly designed for moments when you need a button to push but can't find one anything anywhere else. That was it. I just wanted to run really fast. Okay. Well, let us go to uh, Alpine Skyline. Free roam. Another yes. Free roam chapter. This one, more so than the previous ones. Like, Mafia Town was kind of that, but it was also directed because we had events every time, like the boss fight. Yeah, so this one is the most in 64, Mario 64 of, a, of them all. Yeah. I mean, I say that, but it's kind of, you kind of go off on multiple paths and have, like, obstacle courses. Oh, so it's more like Ratchet and Clank then. Yeah. That's a good comparison. Not a whole lot of snow, that's good. I was worried that it was just going to be this uh, snowy wasteland. No, we're not going to get an ice level. Actually, I guess there is... Well, one of the DLCs is, like, ice setting. Ah. Uh, can't climb up the vines. Darn. I lost you. You lost me? Yeah. No, I can't see you. You're, you're missing. The climb. Oh, I, can, I, I can stream snipe. I can look at your screen. In like a gray, rocky area. Stream snipe in Hat in Time. I'm gonna wait by this cliff until he gets here, and then I'm gonna whap him off. Five streamers versus one speedrunner in a Hat in Time. 
I actually did. I, I broke my promise and I uh, and I went back to watch more of Dream's content and he actually did make a make a joke about about the whole uh, cheating controversy. He's like, yeah, that, man, I can't get anything from these piglins. This is why I hacked my file. And he posted something that said sarcasm, obviously. And you know, you... yeah, what? I'm still try I'm still trying to find you. Yeah, he says you're here. I, I, I know just, we're on the same map. I just I'd like to be on the screen. That's not gonna happen if you can't find Did me. Did you go on one of the like zip lines? No, I, I just climbed up the hill. That spider did jack and shit. All right, now I'm uh, now I'm swinging and now I'm uh, I'm I'm on the stairs, climbing upward. I, you sure you didn't take a zip line? Didn't take a zip line. Did you take a zip line? No. Okay. These spiders are doing nothing. I feel like I'm I'm in the same uh, situation as like. Okay, now they did something. I feel like I was in the same situation as that dude in that uh, one video playing an RPG for the first time. You watch that video? Uh, no. Oh, you should. It's funny. It's oh, actually, it's actually a, a three cool now. Oh, this looks like a boss place. I think you just spawned in different places. I guess. Does it happen? Maybe you in... spawned a specific place the first time you play the level. I sure am doing something. Thunder. Okay. What did I toggle? All right, now I'm going up a zip line into the clouds. Hey, there's like a level prologue that I forgot about. Now you're going to the level proper. Yep, I see you. Wait, you do? Yeah, you're up there. I'm coming to you. But why does Hat Kid climb the mountain? Why is she climbing the mountain? She... She's climbing the mountain. Because it's there. Move the mountain. Climb up the mountain. Make love to the mountain. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if he said that. He did say that. I remember. Oh. I would remember. I, you think I would forget something that crazy? Where he says, make love to the mountain. <laughs> I heard the. Oh, hey, it's a, it's a dude. Hey, dude. What do you have to say? Zero hour. 9 a.m. And I'm going to be high as a, as a kite by then. Tend to be a bit of pushy. Alright. Oh, now now you're on the Yeah, I told you. you. What you didn't believe me? Yeah, run around. Okay, I see you. Yeah, I'm climbing. Have you seen the Whoop. purple? I fell. No. Keep your distance. Something seems weird about them to me. They look like they look like Jawas. Like weird mountain they... Jawas. Hello. Hello. Oh. Man, really. Wait, where am I? I'm back I'm back here. Oh wow. I was going all over the place. Hello, are oh, you're not a friend. You are not a friend, then you are an enemy. Woohoo! I guess I can't fight him. Okay. Yeah, you can't actually do anything to something that is 20 times your size, unfortunately. Oh, this is... Uh, if Mario was here, he'd just toss him off the mountain and go... And go, bye-bye! Because, get it? Because Bowser is, uh, isn't... He's by Bowser's now. whatever size he wants to be. That's his. That's his weird lo low key abilities that he can. He can just make himself bigger anytime he wants to. Ow! 
Ah! I got tossed out again. By the ox guy. Or the ox. Why is he? Why is he so aggressive when these smaller ones are just so, so chill? <laughs> are you stealing my cash again? No. I'm just yeah, being you insane. are. Yeah, fast. Oh, what's this one do? Again? Oh, it's the explosion one. So, I think your goal is to find horns to blow, which will open up paths. Okay. I haven't found something like that yet. Ah! I can bounce on him, but only briefly. Then he gets mad. They're friendly, because he can't kill them. Here we go. They're friendly, quote-unquote. Well... Maybe they just don't know their own strength. Yeah. They're like, they're like, get out of my way. Because they don't deal damage to you. They just kind of... I think I like this level. This level... Level's got a lot of platforming going on. I like the free-roaming ones between this and Mafia Town. I can't, I can't, I can't... And I, I just want to say I, I can't wait for the hard, really hard levels. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I, I want to play... It's the... not new levels, it's... This, it's the original goals, but turned up to Kaizo. Yes! I I want I want that. I was so tempted to whap you off. I won't. I'll be good. Ah! That was for thinking about it. Alright, now where is the... I don't know where... Oh, okay, I'm going oh, there. That's the horn right there. Did you blow it? I blew, I blew it. I'm now going this way. Alright. Old windmill, got it. Let's go. Why don't you uh, describe in detail the process of blowing it? I want to hear about it. Got a cat kid is blowing on a horn. Why is she blowing the horn? Because the horn is there. The horn is there. You exhale into the horn. You expand your wind into the horn. You make love to the horn. <laughs> oh shit! I accidentally hit a button because you said that. It just. I accidentally hit the dash button and flung myself off the stairs. Oh wow, that was impressive. I, w I learned doing the some of the Kaizo goals that the no bump badge actually is very useful. Yeah. For right. uh, you get like an extra climb. I don't think I have. Uh -oh. it. I don't think I have it equipped, unfortunately. Do you have all three uh, slots yet? Yeah, I do. I have magnetism. Uh, is that one? Oh, it is a no bump badge. All right. No, wait for me. I'm fine. Look at this little uh, bagpipe song. That's cool. Oh, I uh, I started watching Walk Fu. I think I mentioned to you. You mentioned that, yeah. The the French one where where the dub is so bad, not in a fun way. Is it just flat? Uh, pretty much. It's just <laughs> flat. It's not fun to watch the the English dub. I went to French audio, and again the show's beautiful. But so far, that's the best thing I can say about it. Maybe it'll pick up in later seasons. Yeah, I think there's. There's a there was an episode that was mentioned that uh, I won't tell you about since you're actively watching it, but that was one where I'm like, wow, this show's got to be Wowzers and other levels because it involves uh, well anyway. The main bad guy that is shown in episode one is like a time wizard, but he's a shitty time wizard. I, I say that I mean it'd be very threatening in real life, obviously, but he can't just dead stop it like zero like uh, Dio. Oh, he can't. Like exactly. by the force of will, they can still wiggle a little bit. Oh, so, so it's, it's okay. I guess it's a more balanced time magic. Dio, Dio would laugh at his time magic, is what you're saying, despite it being 
Magic. Careful, some of these bridges are old. I haven't found the the timepiece yet. Find another horn. Oh, I'm looking for the horn. I thought I was looking for a timepiece. Maybe either or is progress. Oh, the other thing is that it kind of acts like it, it feels like it was made for players of the game. Because oh. it uses a lot of proper terms, like I'm supposed to know them already. So that's kind of annoying. Oh, uh, yeah, that would be. I get I get past it, but it is. Also, it's one of those things that uh, it's full of everyday objects, but it has to have its own name for everything. <laughs> I love it when, when shows do that. It's, like, it's not an, it's clearly an apple, but it's not an apple. It's an oppy. Oh, and it's God. not a bird. It's an as. And or that, whatever. That's that uh, TV tropes uh, like terminology where this is call a rabbit a smirp. Yeah. So imagine if Zelda did that. How annoying it would get quickly. Oh, now, it's not a fairy. It's a it's a fnyornyorn. It's a, not a fairy. It's a navi. This is your own personal navi. What like a net navi? No, not a net navi. Okay, cool. You're in the cutscene, and your your graphic is just freaking out on my screen. That's what happens. I noticed. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> oh, how can I turn? Can I turn? Like on a? No, I have to. Uh, not from this direction. Yeah, when you go, go back. back, you'll have the option. Okay. To go on the other route. Can I? The old? Oh, it gives you an arrow. Like, hey, which way you want to go? You dumb kid. Oh wow, there's a lot of opportunities for uh, getting, uh, forget what this dumb currency is called. You want, you want to talk about, like, being annoyed by, it's yeah. like, why not just call it gold or cash? Call or... it gems. Gems. No, it's pawns. Pawn. Oh, they told me to stay away from purple flowers. Purple haze, man. They're what? Purple haze. All in my brain. Excuse me while I kiss the sky. Alright. Where am I looking? I don't see any timepieces yet. So you can tell which path you're on by the color of the streamers. This is like the blue yeah. streamer gauntlet. Yep. I'm guessing by the very end we'll... So it says free roam, but it's really just like a string of several paths you can take to multiple time pieces. Uh -oh. Okay, I get, I get what I have to do here. Which one is the... Oh, that's not it. I bet I can make that jump. I made the jump! Oh, you did. <laughs> I found time... Yeah, Stop, yard! Oh, um, hold on. Speaking of... <laughs> is this <laughs> animation show? Yeah, it does. Or he's, you're uh, you're running in play. Wait, hold on. Go back to the front. Go back in front yeah. of. Me. Wait, no, no, no. Go back in front of me. Go back. Go more. A little bit more to the left. A little bit more to the left. To what? Right. You're. Yeah, dude. Go back. Go back. Go go back. You can like... see my. You can see my skin in this shot. No, 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 no. I'm not your skin. I don't. I can't see your skin. I just want you to get in front of like where I'm looking. Oh, the, the, you're fucking with the layering. Yeah, no, yeah, go back. No, go back. Go get in front of me. I'm trying. I'm, look, look at I'm my... looking at the stream. Yeah, look it, There's at... a delay. Oh. There you go. <laughs> Why am I... Why? Why? You got a thumbnail. <laughs> Wait, I can get it closer. <laughs> Cue the attack on Titan theme. This is like some weird fucking music video. <laughs> and then the blaring is fine again. Alright. Uh, so, uh, I, I guess I spoiled. There's like, uh, there's a Nintendo 64 hat kid. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see your skin. I just saw the, uh... No, your skin's, you just look like normal hat kid. 
Oh, I'm looking at the screen. It's I'm I'm the Oh, for okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, it does I was wondering why it looked so uh That's actually kinda cool. It's at Kid 64. If it was an N64 game. I think it's still too high poly to be N64. Oh, yeah. Have you seen Morrow? Morrow? The long distance Mario 64. Oh yeah, I Mario. saw that. I saw that. That's the what they do to uh save on space. Yeah. Did I blow the horn yet? I didn't. Uh looks it's... like it's up well no, it's there's the further blue path up here, isn't there? Was it up there? I didn't think it It I think I saw it on your screen and you just didn't take it. Hey, what's that what's that over there? What's that big Come up Hold where on. I'm at. Hold on, what what are you supposed to be? Why is it glowing? I think that's just like a a, play, a marker. It's a beacon from Minecraft. Oh. So if you get lost, I have to start a new world once they came come out with the big caves update. I realize I, I, I completely forgot that wasn't out yet. I should have waited until after it was. No, that's fine. We can just we can just build again. We can. Uh, well, what I'm planning to do is I'm gonna not. I'm okay, gonna wait until that comes out, and then I'm gonna like build a house way out and spawn new terrain. Because that will spawn with the updated stuff. Okay. Oh, yeah! I see what. I see what I see where I need to go now. Okay. This room leads to a horn. You can just see it. Cool. Is there any wrestling news lately? Uh. No, I've been I've been in trance with the AI dungeon. I've been playing a, that a lot lately. Any good stories? Uh, I've been playing other people's uh, stuff. I found one where I'm like a, a knight trapped in a gladiator thing, and uh, no, my cash. Oh, this is the windmill path. Yeah, I switched paths apparently. Where'd you and, go? Uh, and the queen was like, "Hey, uh." Hey, you should you should join me because I was I was a prisoner of hers and I was beating all a bunch of like opponents and she was like uh, and, he, and my character uh, without me prompting was like no I'd rather die than join you and then she's like are are you sure you you you'd be wasted here you you know you die in the arena he's like doesn't matter if I die in combat or die here I that is my destiny or something like that and. I'm, Oh, what are with these ninja cats? <laughs> yeah, they're annoying. Oh, you took the you took the yellow path. Yeah, I didn't. I couldn't see another blue path. Oh, man. I'm just wondering how. No, my my hat. You stole my hat. You don't see them until it's too late. I know. I don't think they hurt you as soon as they appear. Ah, oh, shit. So you just have to wait for them to pop up and then react very quickly. And you could tell that they were coming because of this fucking... Oh no, they do knock you as soon as they appear. Little shits. No, you shouldn't have come here. I know, right? Yeah. Courage. You shouldn't have done that. He took my Sonic hat! There we go. Yeah, I, I expanded the blue path some more. Okay, that's what you needed to do to get to the yeah. place I was going. Yep. It wasn't available for me yet. Darian has uh, been playing a lot of Mega Man games. I guess he's taking a liking to the series. Oh, yeah. Drawing 
a lot. Mega Man's fun. I, uh, apparently, though, that, uh, uh, Bloodstained ha introduced a classic mode, which plays, like, Castlevania. Like, as opposed to, didn't it already play like Castlevania? No, classic Castlevania, not, uh... Platforming. Platforming, like, like, uh, point A to point B Castlevania, not Metroidvania Castlevania. Okay. That's neat. So, yeah. I wonder which, uh, I wonder if Igarashi had a preference between game styles. He... I don't know. He did both. Like, he did Curse of the Moon as well, which was classic platformer. So. Alright, that is a timepiece coming up. The Windmill! A hinga dinga durgan. Right, climb the windmill. You you look so janky right now. <laughs> I tried to make room for you. Fine, we wouldn't have bumped into each other. I don't think. Oh, <gasps> hey, buddy! Please make a purchase. Oh, you see, you found the badge guy. Yeah, what do you got? You got significantly reduced cooldown, die in one hit, bumble. I think the cooldown's the last useful one. Let me check how many there are total. Two, three, four. There are 11 total. Okay. So if you have nine of them after this, then you've got... That's all the badges. All right. Later, buddy. Time to begin the climb. Have you tried the, uh, the time stop yet? I haven't unlocked it yet. Oh, that's right. You need more yarn. Yeah, I don't You don't have, have enough? I, let me see. How much yarn do I have? I've got 13. I need That's 19. not enough? No, the time stop is 32. Oh. Well, that's a lot of yarn. Did they, did they nerf it? I don't know. Is uh, time stop necessary for some of the Kaizo levels? Uh, for the Kaizo stuff, it's extremely helpful. Uh, okay. One of the challenges is this windmill climb, except it's super fast. Ooh, so we're talking TikTok like clock. TikTok clock, yeah. Had to. Uh... All right. Somebody uh, in the in the latest uh, GDQ did a. Uh... Did a Super Mario uh, ROM hack, Super Mario Three ROM hack, called Super Orb, or yeah. something, and uh, and the ROM hack was pretty impressive. It added like wall climbing, and uh, like actual like Mario can slide down on a wall and stuff. I thought that was nice. Isn't that That's the case in the more recent like new Super Mario Brothers? Uh, yeah, yeah, but they but they added but they it added to it to Mario Three. Yeah. They, uh, I know at least one year they did a speed run of Mario 3 mix at GDQ. Oh, did they? That's cool. Yeah, oh, the Captain Southburg hack. Uh, it'd be... I don't know if they have considered it, but it'd be cool if they did that uh, Rayman Redemption thing I'm playing. Because that's also very well made. I... Mm. Ah! I'm just not doing so well with this. <sighs> I was not prepared for massive platforming. Well, maybe you can uh, maybe you can learn to speedrun it, and then you could you could uh, show it off at a GDQ. Yeah. Get more people invested in it. Well, it needs need support for my controller first, or I get a 360 controller. Apparently, the Xbox One controller does have problems with a few things. I had trouble with uh, Project 64 as well. And part of it is because of the way they coded the shoulder buttons. Oh, how oh, they cold had like, they coded. Well, on the, on the 360 controllers, they're both, they're two different axes. But on the Xbox One controllers, it's like, uh, it's registered as rotation left, rotation right, is what the two bump, the two 
triggers do. Oh, that's weird. And so because of that, for example, I can't, uh, I can't set Z-targeting and shield to it in Zelda, because I can't do both at the same time, because they're two opposite directions. That's weird. We should get a, we should get a new uh, 64 emulator. I don't know if there are uh, better options for 64. Honestly, I'd, I'd just make the next controller I get a 360, because it's it's timeless. It works. Yeah. Well, I've got it. As far as PC games go. How'd you get that uh, that uh, yarn down there? Oh, this one? Yeah. Uh. How did I get in here? Uh, did I just freeze? I just crashed. Oh, no. You left the online party. I guess I'll find out in a sec. Climb up and check it out. Hello, monster player. Uh, he's asking if he can he can join our online party. Uh, that's good. Well, you I have trouble keeping all my uh, tings with just one pawns. person. Pawns. <laughs> nah, I, 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 we'll keep it to just the two of us. Yeah, that's that's kind of the point of the stream. Appreciate your interest. This isn't meant to be a big party thing, though. We could go into the uh, go into the peck party. Just have fifty people on the map. Be like, uh, I've seen that video where it's like, uh, where it's like uh, Among Us. We gotta play Among Us at some point. I keep, I keep forgetting to bring it up, but Among Us. Needs... I know. We gotta get we gotta get people for it. We gotta get people together. Can't just be puppies. I think we can. I want that yarn. I want to unlock Time Stop. The ultimate ability for a time traveler. Okay, I think I know how to get up there. Now, I wonder if I take the shortcut to the windmill, if that is technically like a separate map, or if I'll be in the same place as you. Okay. I got it. I know how to do. Alright. Alright. So, uh, last night, while I was trying to fall asleep, I found this uh, new VTuber called, uh... I'm, I can see myself through wall. Don't VTuber... fall down, you'll crash. I, I found a VTuber called, uh, Wood D. Wood yeah. dash D. Pronounced Woody, I guess. And uh, he was playing Resident Evil 7, the Welcome to the Family one, if you're, if you're familiar. I am not. Okay. And this person was not stopping backseat gaming. In chat, yeah, and people were talking about. It. He's like, oh, "I'm sorry, I just am excited for somebody to play this this entire time." He's doing it all caps too. Yeah, and I'm just like. Meanwhile, all I was doing was people were talking about how, his he's like, see his wife just trying to attack him and stuff, and he sounds just so flat. And I'm like, this isn't this guy's first rodeo. He's done this before. Unfortunately, the backseating thing. No, no, no. The uh, the main character being all uh, flat. Was like ah. he, so he killed his. He's like fighting. This is in the first uh, section of the game, and uh, and his wife gets like gets all crazy in like this uh, abandoned swamp house, and uh, and and he's like he like attacks her with an axe and like takes her out, right? Yeah. And uh, and then afterwards, afterwards the phone the phone rings. He answers it. and He goes, "What the fuck is going on?" Do you know? It's just it's like this really casual thing. Everyone's like, like, oh, such voice acting, much wow. And I'm just like, dude, this guy is ob And I was in chat, I was like, dude, this guy obviously, he, he he's done this before. He's, he's, he, this isn't his first video game. He's been like through 10 different video games. Nobody, nobody responded to that, which is unfortunate, but, but that was my theory as to why he was so flat. He was just tired of doing it. He was just tired. He's just this is his first time in like a Resident Evil game, but he was in other games. That's my theory. Games we don't even know of yet. Like, what did we find out? We found out the voice actor for Yamamoto in Bleach uh -oh. was in Bone Town, like prominently. He oh had, yeah, like, that's five roles. That's right. He was. <laughs> I forgot about Bone Town. Thank you for. He was a bunch of impressionists. He did like a. He, it was like a fake George Bush astronaut. 
was his character. Gash is Gash, bro. Oh yeah, I guess I remember he... uh, Vinny in one of his shovelware streams played a it was like a carnival games on the Wii. Just a very generic mini games collection. But the the host, the ringmaster, the ringleader, was voiced by uh, Mike Pollock, the voice of Eggman. Oh. <laughs> and Mike Pollock showed up on the stream on Twitch. Oh, in the no. chat. he's like, you found my secret. Now I he must. Met, and he you. met him at a convention later, and he told Mike Pollock, like, "Dude, you were the best part of that game." And he's like, "Yeah, yeah I know." <laughs> <laughs> I know. A paycheck's oh, a paycheck. Paycheck's a paycheck. Unless you're, like, doing something really nefarious, don't be ashamed how you get your paycheck. Yeah. Up to non fu Hold on. Oh, wow, that is... That is, gonna, that is a very tough jump. Where are you going? You see some yarn? Yeah. Ah, I need to be higher, I think. Higher up. Probably. The windmill. I like these kinds of levels. It's like going up clockwork. Gears and things. Yeah, it requires timing. This is a very, uh, this is a TikTok clock love letter. Oh, hey! That's how I get up there. I don't need to do any fancy jumping. They're special. Oh! Uh, also in the Kaizo levels. Like, the, the Hat Kid 64 was unlocked there. But you also unlock the outfits that you use throughout the, the game. Like the, the oh. marching band, the detective hat, things like that. Nice! Oh, dang it. Back up. Oh, come on, what get up What happens there. if I use the time slow near you? If that affects you at all? Uh... I don't know. Let us find out, I guess. Right. Also, you, you see my... You see I'm Banjo? No, I don't. Oh, you don't? It doesn't work. Oh, wow. Did that do turned anything? Black. He turned black for a split second. Did, did, did the windmill, like, slow down for you or anything? I don't... I couldn't tell. I just saw you were black. Oh, yeah, I'm, like, heartless. Dark Hat Kid. Uh... How... How am I supposed to... Oh. Backseat game. <laughs> Alright, I'll stay behind you. How nefarious are we talking? Nefarious? Like, Dr. Nefarious? Dr. Nefarious. We need, we need, uh, we need some, we need to find a name for him. Dr. Nefarious, no. Uh, Dr. Dr. Warlord, no. Doc, Dr. Octopus, no. Uh, Dr. Strange, I like it, but it's taken. I got it, how about Dr. Octopus? What was this from? Uh, Spider-Man. Spider-Man 2, to be precise. Oh, the, yeah. J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah. Get that Spider-Man! Is they... Vinny, Vinny uh, makes fun of that a lot, right? The, uh... J. Jonah Jameson? Yeah, because he's from New York. I don't think so. Pub Among Us is kind of mad. I've heard that. I've heard it's, like, a lot better in groups of friends. Alright, we gotta get... Well, it's cheap. We can just buy a bunch of people among, uh, among us and say, hey, we bought it for you, now you have to stream with us. I mean, everyone already has it. It's just a matter of matching up people's schedules is the big thing. Yeah. When you're not a professional streamer, when you are when you are the 
the uh, streamer equivalent of a, of a working actor. <laughs> That's what we are. We're we're essentially working actors. Yeah. I wish I could find work as an actor. Yeah. Dang it. Uh, oh! Where'd these birds come from? It's odd that the... It's odd when skins, like, load and when they don't. Maybe I have to enter the level with them. Because the Hat Kid, like, Retro uh, 64 skin showed on your side. Yeah. But my current one is not. Ah. Uh. I can't even... Coming back. I'm, I'm heading there. Oh, okay. I see now. Hey. Okay. Got it. Yeah, checkpoint. Scale the windmill like Cel I still got to get you to play Celeste at some point. Yeah. I, I think I think you'd, you'd find it to be pretty uh, pretty interesting game. I have to check if I have it. I might. Okay, that's not a, that's not a jump. This calls for Sanic. Yeah! Whoa! What was that? Oh, hello. What is that thing? That is a giant exploding egg. Clearly. It just it just sounded like an alarm clock and attacked me. The plat so the platforms are desynced between us. Okay. I guess with as much to load as this level would be, that's kind of necessary. Yeah. Oh, no. The magnet doesn't really seem to work. Like, all that well. The, like, attract pawns? Yeah. Pawns? Yeah, it works. It's negligible. Yeah, it's not massive. That was one of the things in uh, Rayman Redemption is that there's a shop with purchasable upgrades. Nice. Including one of the magnet things. I wonder what engine uh, Rayman Redemption is on. I don't know. It's a standalone executable. Yeah. It looks like you're on a cloud whenever... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay. You're ahead of me again. Sorry. Again, I love that it... If you fall a certain distance, it respawns you up where you were, instead of making you climb back up again. Yeah, that's the Super Mario 64 method. If you fall on TikTok clock, fuck you. <laughs> That's what the game says. Okay. Up on the second gear, and... Oh, jeez. I can just imagine this being way harder. Oh, what? Where am I? Did I fall behind? Dang it. Alright, well I guess I'm going back up here.
you look like you're dancing on the edge. Yeah, I, I live on the edge. I think Mario could do these levels. Oh yeah. His movement, he, he's always, you know, oh, crap. in his 20s. No. That kid, what are you, where are, oh no. I'm trapped in the gear. Oh no, I, I was, I'm not a little anymore. more limited. Hat Kid versus Mario in a parkour contest. Hey, old man! Watch this! I don't know. You'd have to ask, like, a, a really proficient player of both games which one could uh, climb more things. I, I want to say Hat Kid, but... Hat Kid could probably do uh, Super Mario 64. I think Mario can get a little more uh, vert horizontal distance with, uh, like, Cappy. Okay, I'm up here. Oh, okay, I see what I see no one now. <sighs> I almost beefed that jump. By the way, I, there's something I wanted to uh, bring up with you as far as like watches go. Uh, yeah. Would you be up for uh, watching James Bond movies? I'm not really interested. No. No, they're they, they're really they get really crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, I cleared the windmill. Does it mean I get to go? Uh oh, the flowers got poisonous. Wait, why? What is going on now? What just happened? What the. All right, so we're back at the beginning of the level again. You not started appearing recently after some weird... In any case... How's your day? My day's going okay. I've been on furlough for a while, and I'm going back to work next week, so... I'm gonna have less time for streaming, but that's okay. Well, I have uh, three days off next week, so I'll be able to do, uh, do some streaming. I'm going in so... early in the morning, so I'll, I might be back in, t in the afternoon by like two or three or earlier birdhouse so when I jump with the sonic hat I'm realizing I only get the one jump there's no dive there's no double jump oh so that's a disadvantage so I just had a I have a question yeah what would happen if Sonic and oh there's no there's no hang there what would happen if Sonic and Mario fused uh, the resulting. I'm sure fusion. you know what. I'm sure Google Images can answer this question. Sonic Mario Fusion. I'm gonna look it up. All right, more yarn. I, th Good. I feel like we've done this search before. I recognize these images. You do? Okay, we might have we might have talked discussed this before. Tell tell me this one doesn't ring a bell. Oh. Uh, one sec. Doesn't ring a bell, but that looks fucking awesome. That is that is not bad actually. What would, what was the resulting fusion be named? Mariac or Sario? Sonio? Samario. Samario. I am Samario. <laughs> the infamous. <laughs> the best, the world's best jump jumper and fastest runner. This one's probably a little more balanced. <laughs> Why do I get vague Wario looks from him? That actually looks like that. <laughs> what you ex top one, what you expect, bottom one, what you get. He's got like he doesn't have a mustache, but he's got like a lip that looks like a mustache. Yeah, that that's a, that looks about right. Hold on. Yeah, I, I I like the top one though. The top one. Looks like something that would be in a Sonic game. The bottom one looks like something that would be in a Mario game. Yeah. Make sure you swing towards the path you want. Hi what? everyone. Have to move quickly. My gotta move. 
Gotta jump high. Yeah, Bowser, that lame-o. I go kick his butt. So you think you think he would sound he would sound like a like a like a badass Italian like. He'd just sound like, uh, he'd sound like the parody of Brooklyn Mario that, like, uh, we and Vinny do. Like, the asshole Mario. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'ma kick your ass, Bowser. He'd just be like a stanky Brooklyn dude with lots of attitude. <laughs> uh, man, I'm glad, I'm glad Steven Universe explored the concept of fusions. Yeah. You, uh, I wish fusions would be as easy as, uh... You should dance! How do you so fusion dance work? You just literally dance with them. I mean, that's not what you do? It's a, lo it's a lot simpler than Dragon Ball Fusion, which Where, is why it happens more often. Yeah. Have to do a specific dance. But only gyms can do it. That's... Or gym-like beings. Half gyms. And it's odd, we get, uh, we were talking about it, we don't really get any specific verification in Dragon Ball that Pataras cannot fuse, so we could, like, fuse fusions, in theory. Yeah, just get, just get Vegito, fuse him with, uh, Hercule, and get, uh... <laughs> the G-Cule? The g -Cule. Or the Gito cule The g -Cule. The Gito cule it, what would that? It would, he would be like the. Just, it just occurred to me, Gokul, that has to be a. That's a dub name. I wonder what. Hold on. Because he's not called Hercule in Japanese, he's just Mr. Satan. Oh. Let me look up Gokul, see if there's a Japanese oh, name. Oh, dude, listed. dude, you think, you think Goku. You know, it's a. Uh, Satan Goku. <laughs> it's Satan Goku. Goton. Goton? Goku plus Satan, Goton. Gotan. Gotan. Gotan! <laughs> okay, that's a better name than Gokul. Gokul sounds lame. Go yeah. Gotan. Isn't Tan just like, and friends? In Japanese? So it's Goku and friends. Okay, I'm back up here now. Let's do this properly. You know what you get if you, uh, Patara fuse Goten and Yamcha? What? Gotcha! Okay. We saw, like, a potential fusion between, uh, Yamcha and, uh, Tien. Tien Tiencha. Tiencha. With the ultimate receding hairline. What would- I wonder how much stronger, like, those two would be. Not very much, but probably Strong enough. Krillin, for sure. So Krillin, who would Krillin fuse with to like gain more power? Uh, Jiren, <laughs> the ultimate bald man. <laughs> no, Jiren, you gotta fuse with me. Take my word on this. Short guys are OP in fighting games. Krillin I fusing can use that. I'm Krillin... the worst character in Fighter Z. Krillin fusing with fucking odd job from Golden <laughs> You you've heard you, you know why I say that, right? Uh no. So in the game So in the game Goldeneye, which is based off of like James Bond properties. Uh thank you. Uh I had to do it once. It's fine. I landed on a platform. There's a horn at the top. So uh the, the Goldeneye has a multiplayer mode. You play as uh, James Bond and, and like other sorts of James Bonds, and uh, and there's also like a whole bunch of characters from other Bond movies like Jaws, the uh, the dude with the metal teeth, uh, or uh, or like uh, William Blofeld. It's like the Witch Doctor is the secret final boss, right? Baron Samedi, you can play as him. But uh, there's one character called Oddjob, and Oddjob's thing in his movie Goldfinger was that he was, like, ultra short dude with, like, a sharp hat. So he's short in Goldeneye, but the problem is that is that Goldeneye is played on an N64 controller, right? Yeah. So, so it doesn't really conduct, like, a lot of, uh, a lot of, like, fine precision shooting. Uh, so they do use auto-targeting, but for some reason, if you play as Oddjob, <laughs> you, auto-targeting doesn't work. 
So oh. you just, so you just have to manually aim at him. Meanwhile, auto targeting for odd job at every other character works very well. And the kicker is that if you choose a character, another person can't play as that character. So, oh, so it like auto targeting doesn't work on odd job. Yeah. Uh, you can't auto target odd job, and that's a big disadvantage. Yeah. I would imagine. Yeah, so people are like, no it's odd like job. A, it's special technology. It's being short. <laughs> Apparently, Jiren is like the worst character in Fighter Z on like the tier list. I, I heard of that, which is kind of ironic considering that in canon he's he's like alien Superman. Alien Superman. And came at, came at the same time as Videl as well. How high is she up on the tier list? I don't know. Uh, we got it. We got to do. Uh, I want to do Tenkaichi three, and I want to check out the Xenoverses so we can also get to Dragon Ball Fusions. That's gonna be fun with all the weird, dumb stuff that's surely in there. Oh God, Xenoverse is great because uh, you can you can get Dragon Ball Z characters to be your character's mentor. And that is includes it, uh, villains like Cell and shit. I, I don't know much about Xenoverse. Do you think we would? Is there like a campaign mode we would want to do? Is there, that I think too there long is. to be worth doing? I don't know how long the campaign mode is. Oh, what the? The bird have sunglasses? I'll have, to, I'll have to ask around about it. Because if it's just... Uh, I, th I think there's like a unique story elements is why I wanted to do them. With like time kais or something. Oh yeah, and uh, and you have started doing that lately. With uh, what was the what was the first thing? Uh, hmm. It was like Dragon Trunks. Ball. Trunks becomes uh, becomes like a time cop because he has penance for him uh, fucking with the timeline. Yeah. There's also the the fact that in Xenoverse it posits that Boo is like became a species because you're at a porno mag. Dragon Ball Online, that's what I'm thinking of, which is in no way available in the West, but nope. has unique story stuff with an original like villain and shit that then carries over into Xenoverse and Xenoverse 2 and Heroes. So there's this whole line of characters that we missed out on. Because we don't have Dragon Ball Online in the West. Nope. Well, we're Western. We can't get everything. Give us everything, we and we just fucking storm the White House and we don't get anything. Yeah. We do do that. Yeah, you don't say, guy. There's something strange about those eggs? Like the fact that they explode? Alright. Birdhouse seems like a simpler climb. Just that these eggs are, uh, dangerous. It's a bad egg. It's a bad egg. <laughs> that was... <laughs> of all the... Willy Wonka has one-liners in fucking Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. That fucking girl sitting on, like, the egg weighing machine and it just says... It just dumps her into the yeah. furnace or garbage chute and and he's like that's a bad egg hmm I don't think the incinerator is running today <laughs> Willy Wonka your, your factory is not OSHA compliant I think that's I want to say that there was this hold on okay good got it more yarn uh, there's this dude on YouTube called Legal Eagle who uh, who did like a okay. How many laws did Willy Wonka break? Let's find out. Yeah. And and the answer is well, quite a lot actually. How would get past these bars? Yep, you're coming. I I was I fell way behind. Yeah. Okay, it's probably. Okay, seriously, how do I get? Past those bars. What's the look button again? I don't know that there is triangle. One. I think I found it. All right. Oh, there is a look button. Yeah, 
I never knew that. Okay. Alright. That's probably something I'll have to come back to. Hey! Hey, guys! You like mazes? Hey, guys, what's up? It's them! It's, uh... It's the... Two of the birds? Uh, yeah, two of the birds! Du -du 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 Can't make it over there. I'm gonna have to... Where is... Over there, got it. Adventure Time is apparently getting uh, HBO specials on HBO Max. Yeah, I've, I've noticed that. It had, like, old old man Finn. Oh, yeah, I saw it. There was, like, an aged-up Finn. And two of the four have aired. So I'm, I wonder where the other two were going to go. Also, it, it's, it seemed to imply that Jake was dead. Anyway. Did he die? I, I, it seems that way. I don't know. We got two more specials to find out. Uh, I was curious. I, hopefully that's hope for Venture Brothers. HBO is picking up shows and giving them more stuff. Yeah, I want I want Venture Brothers to come back. Venture Brothers was great, and it's a shame that it ended the way it did. Alright, this way. Where's my ice hat? Oh, I got, I got, I got a skin for it that I wasn't trying to equip. I got a rift token. Okay. I uh, like the ideas of the skins, but they make it hard to, uh, they make it hard to tell what hat is what. All right, I'm back. Where was I hey, going? Can you, can you see me throw my hat? Uh, no. You're just kind of spinning in place. That's the cappy hat. Oh. So this is supposed to be a maze? There's branching routes. Dead oh. ends and things. Okay. You sound so dead. I just... I don't like mazes. You know this about me. Especially 3D mazes. There's something to... There's, like, yarn scattered about, though. There's So there's... Yeah. Like, no no meaningless dead ends, I don't think. Unlike in Lagoon, which was all meaningless dead ends. Lagoon's level design was, like, some of the worst I've ever seen. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest, I've forgotten most of that game. I can't. I, pl I That's because you weren't playing it. Yeah. And I also didn't grow up with it. It's like, oh, I'm, I have a choice between two games. I can either play Lagoon or Illusion of Gaia. Yeah. What What if I'm going to play fucking... Look. We just made all the thumbnails bodies of water for no reason. Bodies of water? Yeah, because... Because <laughs> there's no, like, thumbnailable thing of Lagoon. That's why I was doing it like that. For those of you unaware, we streamed Lagoon a long time ago, and it was, uh... What was it originally on? DOS? It was on... The thing Jaguar. I was gonna... It was on, like, P, a me, PC... I think it was a PC-98 game, actually. And it was ported to the Super NES and butchered. Yeah, they basically changed the entire combat system. So originally, it was like in Yis, where you would hold out, a, like, a button, and your sword would come out, and you just charge at somebody, right? And then what they ended up doing was that you'd hit it and, uh, and like, you'd swing your sword. Legend of Zelda style. The problem is that the sword was, like, a pixel long. They so didn't you... increase the range to account for removing the charge. Yeah. So, as a result... Aww. Alright. I got it. What? <laughs> She's just clutching you, like, are you okay, timepiece? I guess she's cold? I don't know. What is with those fucking... <laughs> it's
It's it's like it's a season one. Like we're doing all this seemingly unrelated stuff, but there's there's these little bits that are working towards the season finale. We're gonna fight the purple flower. All the creatures are gonna be agitated, and we're gonna get our asses kicked. I compare Wakfu to Slayers just insofar as it's, you know, medieval fantasy, you got a, a party of travelers, but it feels more aimless, episodic. Like, there's not as much direction happening. They were always moving towards something, some villain in Slayers. All right, Felf, got it. We're going this way next. And then Fire Temple this is after this. The Twilight, Twilight Hell. Y'all re ready to get Twilight Princess? We gotta play that soon, don't we? That and a way out. A way out partially because I want to get it uninstalled off my system. It's it's so many gigabytes. How many gigabytes is it? I don't know, like 30 or 40. I know I all I know about a way out is is, is you can you, you can play Connect 4 against uh, your co-op player. Yeah. So, so we got to do that when we play it. I really okay. got to stay behind you on this one because I can, I can fuck up your uh yeah, your your d lurker mask, whatever it's called. Yeah. Oh, that's why I I, uh, I the thing's not working cuz I uh, I unequipped the uh the magnetism one. All right. That's fine. I don't really notice a Oh, okay. This and the time stop badge oh, are, I think, the most useful for the uh, low cooldown patch. Crap. Ah, uh, get up! Why? Why I no go up? This part I never understood. It's so weird and obtuse, and there's no obvious way to go up. You have to uh, ah! The hit by the hit detection is weird. Like the geometry just kind of shoves me off sometimes. At least this is a part I can actually help with. Yeah, thank you. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. Please. Do oh my God! The fence. <laughs> Bring out your dead! You gotta, I gotta aim for the vines, because if I don't aim for the vines, I'm gonna hit a fence. If I hit a fence, I'm dead. Mm! I went under the platform by accident. I'm either going, hitting the fence or I'm going under a platform. Jumping under it and... Oh yeah, that happened to me once. Once, long time ago. It was just earlier. Come on. Mm! Short jumped. Just missed. Am I gonna appear back in the in the hub world? Please no. You son you of a bitch. Oh, okay, are you? Good. I'm, no, I'm not back here. I figured it'd be at the start of the climb. Want to climb the mountain? See, Celeste is, is, a, is a very uh, uncomplicated game. It's basically just the main character's like, there's, there's this mountain, I want to climb it. I have to prove to myself I can climb this mountain, and it's just difficult platforming, and you meet uh, quirky people as you climb up the mountain. There's like, yeah. Okay, try this again. <sighs> mm -hmm, fell off! Sorry! Bushes saved me, though. Branches, rather. Yes! Alright, I'm up. 
I'm on the I'm on the zip line. Do I have to hold this hold it when I'm on the zip line if I let go and no. I No, there's actually no way to disengage mid zip line. Okay. Oh that Twilight Bell is the shortest route. Oh god, the bell is full of stars. Oh, it's so short and easy. We're already there. Where's the timepiece? There's gonna be a boss. Yeah. Here we go. We fight the boss now. Oh no! Okay, there's more. There's more climbing. Awesome. Welcome to the Twilight Zone. I mean, Min is like, what the fuck are you doing here? How are you able to exist here? And that girl just shrugs. Just sticks her tongue out at her and runs off. <laughs> what the? Well, that's interesting. So, all right. Whoa, 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 I... I guess it's just like an anti-lurker area. It's the red reality as opposed to our green reality. I like how the music uh, changes when you use the... the lurker and the time stop masks. Yeah, the lurker. Just gets all distorted. Yeah. Oh, what? Green reality raccoon. Wait, was I not supposed to do that? I think this is a branching point. We can go any, any which way from here. Uh, I can't because that door's locked. No, you've imprisoned me. Oh, whoops. Uh, hold on. I'll... Actually, oh, no, you haven't. Yeah, you have lurker powers. Can't I just hit it and... No? Okay. I don't think we can hit it. I got... Hold on. Let me bring out my projectile badge. Fire your project... Nope. There's immune to Hotakins. Ooh, it's this fucking creepy ass 80s ghost music. Alright, I don't know what we're gonna have in this game yet, but I know we gotta use a theremin for at least one track. Musical saw. Well, more yarn. First season of America's Got Talent, somebody was playing a musical saw and they got eliminated. I was disappointed. Yeah. Musical saw's great. Oh, no! No! I, I have this thing where every time I'm, like, jumping and, like, I got a panic, I clinch the stick. And that brings up the, the menu. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, other menu. The, this menu. Hi. Hi. Why did you do that? You fucked me. You dick. Stop taunting me. Oh, like little voice lines. <laughs> All 
All right, got the key. I wonder where they could go with a sequel for this game. At, it's a pretty op open concept. Out of time to Lord of Time. Hat alien jumping around from world to world. Oh, you got the thing? Yep, I did. Heading to the, uh... Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Is that another path? Hold on. What was up here, a key? Oh, yeah. Made it! Time. Okay, and down here. Patent time sequel. Uh, I don't even know how this game ends yet. I don't know where this game could go. Hmm. That's clever, actually. How'd you fall? No, you didn't. Hmm. Not gonna work here. Guess we must... Uh... There's a bell down here. And netherworld enemies. Nether... <laughs> I'm reminded of, uh... Of this weird Russian, uh... Urban fantasy called, uh... Called Nightwatch. <laughs> Yeah, it involves like, yeah, we we have to fight in a different level of reality, and then if somebody uh, like, is able to, wait, hold on. Do we have to hit the bell and then do the ice thing? I tried. Oh, okay, the bell. I missed the bell. That explains a lot. Thud. Oh, I'm on top of it. Thank you. What if I chew? More time start. Yeah, stop yarn. It's an odd system where you only need one of that type of yarn in order to have the hat available, but you need the same amount of yarn anyway. Okay, so... Let's go this way then. Is there I don't up here. Guess not. Oh hey, the red reality bell is active. Yes, got the key. Oh, hold on, I need to... Bell, off. Alright, uh... Shit, I don't know where to go next. I have a key, but... Down. I hit the red reality bell. I like how you're calling it red reality now. I don't know what it is. We've got the regular reality, we got green reality, and we got red, red reality. The red space. Oh, the gloom. Off. The gloom. I guess... Oh. The... The key is up there. Did you see that cutscene? I did. And I, uh... And I, uh... Toggled... I got the key and I toggled that. So now... I must choose between light and dark. Oh, 
Oh, you can go through, but I can't. I guess I didn't get the key. No, you didn't. Okay. This level is really something else. It's a creative game. There's a lot of variety. Yeah. Music's pretty good too. I don't know where the key is. I don't think it's here for me. It, it should be. Okay, where? Wait, hold on. Oh, there it is. I was wondering where that was. <laughs> All right, toilet bill gut. Hey, mom. All right. One more. We are going to the volcano next, right? Oh, you got it already? Yeah, I got it. I, I hold ass. I'm, and I I'm got stuck it. in the twilight zone. You just. Yeah, I gotta exit. Smack. Alright, that's the. Uh... Twilight Bell Path. There it is. There's the Volcano Path. Alright, time to go to Volcano Path. Here we go. <clears throat> this area has a lot of uh, pones. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, we are at Sizzling Lava Pit. What's the gimmick with this one? homing attack past the spiders. We Sonic now. Oh, you were Sonic. Oh, shit. I fucked up. Alright, let's try that again. This heat is great. It is an odd hybrid, though. What, uh, Sonic and Mario? Well, yeah, just this homing platforming is totally a Sonic thing. Yeah. Cool. Got it. Second time. Lava cake? Lava cake? Oh, that's... Oh, okay. Oh, you're up there. How'd you get up there all of a sudden? Hey, Jack! Ember Summit, and it's got treasure. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like that first uh, fucking... Sonic Mario image, because that look that actually, it's like if his wait, no, one of them is the result of the fusion dance, the other is the result of the Potara earrings, and which one is which? Ow. Which one's Mariak, and which one's Sario? Time to climb. Just 
happen on top of those? No, it's just houses that are on fire. Fortunately, fire is harmless. Fire is an illusion. Like pants. Pants are an illusion, and so is death. The that uh, Avatar was another series that uh, that also like kept continuity. Yeah, it, 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 it didn't forget about characters and things and, and other stuff like uh, like I know all sorts of fighting styles. I know North North Pole style, South Pole style, even Foggy Swamp style. It's good about not forgetting about shit. Which Steven Universe also is, we're watching. Yeah, don't don't forget about stuff. Did that bird just fall into the water and explode? It seemed like that's what happened. What, what, why? The water's fine. I guess it's a hot spring? Yeah, but the kid's, kid's fine. She can jump in it. Look at that. It's nice. Ooh. Hello, cannon. I do love the visual style of... of I almost said Hawkfu. Uh, Wakfu, because it is, it's like Avatar, it's just that middle ground between anime and western animation. Yeah. Where it's got the detail of anime, but it's got the expressiveness of cartoons. Yeah. Steven Universe has that too, just the, uh, it allows its, uh, its characters to have, uh, more, uh, animated firebirds. Okay. Fuck Pontiac. Alright. Oh, this... This is... I think this is the easiest so far. There's no, like, crazy gimmicks. It's just... Get through this lethal lava land. By the way, this little... thing that... This little has a lethal lava, lava land. I, I was yeah. wondering. It's a good thing that uh, metal platforms come out of molten lava totally cool enough to walk on. It's a very fortunate well, they're uh, phenomenon. Not, they're not in there, like, as quickly. Cutting it really close there. My outfit still doesn't show up now that we've loaded the level yeah. together, right? Does it? No, I don't see it. It's fine, I'll discover it and I'll discover what you're talking about. Oh, I really like this level. Just classic platforming. Is there... Is there another path? I think it's just one path with side stuff. Okay. Well, there's side stuff over there then. Oh, I I guess, yeah. Okay, well, I'm going there. Are there well, you know, there's bo there's there. bone fish. Yeah. The skeleton fish that can survive in lava. We, you don't have it? Oh, that is some black rock. Oh, was I supposed? I don't know. I, we can always jump down lower to the that. Yeah. All right. Will I make it? Yep, I will. And I got it. I got it. What is this? This is. I assume yarn was here. Yeah. I'm continuing up this way to see what Crap. was here, or where this goes. Fine. This feels like a very Mario setting, a lava cake. Yeah. And maybe it's just called that this time because it's... Beat. Alright, what's, what's in here? Rift token. Oh, he's still my beating heart. Why are you climbing up top? I'm over off to the side. Oh, is that, I, well, I thought that was the way to go. No, I, I just got to the timepiece, so this is the normal route, I guess. Oh, uh, you stole all my pawns. Oh, there's a yarn I haven't gotten. Oh, 
Oh, I, I jumped in the lava a few times. Now I'm all, like, black and splotched. Oh, crap. I think we did it in the correct order. Fire. I think you, you did, yeah. I don't need that. Uh, oh, I do need that. Oh, so it was, a, it was a rift token? Yeah. Over on that other path? Yep. Uh, go the Dweller way first. Yeah, it's yarn over there. Yep. Brewing. This rate, I'll be able to uh, do time stop in no time. The world! <laughs> the world, though. Why are you saying it like that? <laughs> Ow. I'm fine. All right, am I at the top yet? Top layer, final. Uh, oh, up. dang it. Uh oh, this isn't good. You got a checkpoint. <sighs> yeah, I did. <laughs> that was uh, that was not not a good series of jumps. I I like how you just kept pressing forward, hoping it would pop up in time. Oh, I was hoping to get there before I died, but I was wrong. There, I timed it better that time. Oh, okay, so that's the timepiece. I need to go this way. Oh, game's done quick as life. They're on Ori in the Blind Forest. Oh, what? They're still going? I thought they were they were all done. Could have sworn it was over already. Oh well. I don't know, unless maybe my page needs to update. I got stuck here because you can't use masks while you're bouncing like this. Oh. Uh, Charred hat kid. <laughs> Punished hat kid. Venom Man. hat kid. She was the medical. <laughs> you know, you know why he did that game, right? Five. It's to explain why Big Boss. Uh, came alive. He's like evil. Still alive after you killed him in Metal Gear Solid 1. He comes back in Metal Gear Solid 2. Or Metal Gear 2. Because in Metal Gear 1, it ends with a boss fight with him. In Metal Gear 2, it also ends in a boss fight with him. In Zanzibar yeah. Land. Wait, so the 1 and 2 are two different big yeah, bosses? Me yeah. Oh. Because this game explains it. There were two big bosses. <laughs> because but he doesn't die in both. He does die in both. He did no, he appears in the epilogue of Metal Gear 4. Yeah, because they resurrected him. Huh? Yeah, yeah. He, 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 he comes back alive, I think, is what happens. I thought Metal Gear 1 and 2 were the Venom big boss, and the other one just kind of hung out and then appeared in the 4 epilogue. I I don't know. I, I, I think it's... Uh, am I going the right way? I'm going this way. Uh, where are we going? Didn't we get everything? Oh, you're going to the... Whatever the purple stuff is. Yeah. Alright, let's go. I must save the people here. The disease was my fault. I'll have to fix it. If I can get there, if I'm going the right way, I don't know if I am. I think there are a few of them you have to do. Yeah. Okay, I'm going. And this is way. a pain because this is a fairly substantial thing, and one of the one of the Kaizo goals is a speed run of this. Oh jeez. So you have to get like all the things within seven minutes. Wait, the entire level? Well, all the this part of it. Oh. I think you have to seek out multiple plants. Uh oh. Okay. Well, it's fine. I'll kill the plants and, uh, and I'll be a hero. I like how Steven Universe knocked out, and her and the Crystal Gems knocked out the power to the entire uh, 
like town and, and Steven's like, okay, I'll take responsibility. I know these guys won't, but I will. No have a problem! Except it totally is. Alright, so the boss fight is four flowers. Anytime we walk in on the Crystal Gems just sitting around, they're just reading the newspaper. Like, that's what they do all day, is read the newspaper. They're trying to learn more about Earth cultures. They're trying to find out if, uh, if Homeworld's attacking them or not. They don't know about the internet. It's gonna be like when Quagmire discovered it. <laughs> Quagmire didn't discover the internet until... Oh, jeez, let me guess. There was an episode where he... It turns out Quagmire is, like, 60 years old, and he doesn't know about internet porn. All right, I got one of them. Like, no, I don't, that, that crappy old slow dial-up thing, I didn't touch that in like 20 years. And then they're like, oh, Quagmire, we have such sights to show you. And what, he just, he just still goes into his computer room and he doesn't come out again. They don't, no one sees him for two weeks. <laughs> no one sees him for two weeks, so yeah. That's, that's... And he comes out of his house with one giant right arm. And let me guess, that was just a gag. That's or... the joke! Yep. Yeah. At least at least when uh, South Park did it, they had did Randy Marsh just covered in, in his own awful, and then... And he's just like, it's a ghost! A ghost did it! There's a whole B-plot. And maybe, maybe it mattered more in that episode. I, I barely remember it. it was like most Family Guy, you just... I just consider Family Guy that, uh, hey, you remember that time show? You remember hey, that time? Hey, uh, Zelrog, you remember that time Family Guy uh, awkwardly inserted a gag? Uh, very, very obviously. Yeah. I sure do. This, this is worse than the time I completely stopped this show dead to cut away to another gag. going. That's right, the levels are all, like, reworked. Did you get the, did you get the first flower? I did, so I gotta, I gotta go again. Alright. Everything's destroyed, and there's little hookshot flowers everywhere. Yep. I noticed that. I love swinging in video games. I like games that include swinging. Yeah. You know, uh, then, the, the then why don't you like Spider-Man games? I actually had Spider-Man 1 and 2, the movie games on PS2. Oh. Yes, the ones with the pizza music. <laughs> hey, you know what? Pizza you know, time. You know what would be uh, good? What? You do the, uh... You, you never played the N64 uh, Spider-Man games then, did you? It's I have not. Slash PS1? Well, we should. I didn't know they existed. They're pretty fun. I played that's one where uh, it had three difficulty levels. Uh, hard, medium, easy, and kids mode. Yeah. And if you selected kids mode, you'd hear, uh, you'd hear a voice go out and call out, KIDS MODE! Yeah. I don't know where I'm going. Probably this way. hope it's this way. Oh, it's both ways. I know ways. people were excited for, uh, was it Ultimate Spider-Man on the PS4? Oh, yeah, the Spider-Man game on PS4. That was the first time I'd ever heard, like, a large number of people talking about a Spider-Man game. Oh, wow. Those, these flowers are up to no good. Health mode. Hmm. Third of, I, I guess don't you think bought, I'm going this way. I guess you bought everything worth buying. The only things left are the uh, the mumble and the one hit hero badges. Yeah, one hit hero, which I, at least is useful for some Kaizo missions. Require it. Require you to have it. To have it equipped. Oh, what the. Which okay. route are you on? I'm on, uh, one of the blue paths. Oh. Climb up on the, on the houses. Avoid the ground. 
Oh, the, the yaks are all aggro. They're red now. Yeah. Because they got infected. Got him. We're basically- we're fighting Plant Naraku. Yeah. I would love to fight Plant Naraku. Yeah. I haven't- I'm trying to think of, like, what the- Oh! He's unconscious now because I freed him. I guess that's what happened. It makes sense for him to be the- the- arc- the series villain in Inuyasha. I'm gonna be mad if Naraku's still the villain in Yashahime. No, apparently it's like some tree or something. Oh, okay. That was his whole bit, though, is that he just kept coming back and never fucking died. <laughs> I Yeah, I loved it. It was just like, you thought you could kill me, well, look at me now. What eventually killed him for reals? Was it just just that they destroyed he, him like, when he was in his fortress? Like, he spider mode? With the jewel or something? Wasn't that it? And then Kagome purified it with him inside it. I don't remember. The ending was very strange and convoluted. I think that was close to the manga ending. Yeah. As well. We're... I mean, it makes sense for a... Lava Palace next. All right. I, I want to say Shoujo. I guess it's a shonen series, but it has elements of both. It's interesting. Where the ending isn't really just a straight fight. It's more... Emotional and, like... Yeah. Just which, is re which is refreshing after a lot of, like, Dragon Ball, Naruto kind of stuff. Can you imagine Baki ending like that, where in order to beat his dad, he had to get all emotional and introspective? Yeah. And then the final fight scape is inside Yujiro's mind. He's just fighting his son in his mind. He can cl conclude that even if he could physically beat him, he could never emotionally beat him. And then so he uh, he hands off his title as the str as the strongest. That's how And that's how the series ends. And, uh, and for Baki, that'll be good enough. He's chilled out so much. It's so bizarre to see Ujiro trying to be a cool dad after the entire first two seasons. It's so weird. It's... It is... It is utter... Yeah, I killed your mother in front of you, but, uh, no hard feelings, eh, Baki? Hey, Baki. It's okay, I've reformed. He hasn't... I... I... Has he? He really hasn't, though, no. He's just kind of being nicer to him. He's just... He's, he's strong enough for Yujiro to be willing to talk to him now. That's all that's changed. He's been taking tranquilizers, and that's really helped. He's been seeing a therapist, yeah. working out his anger issues. He was... Because he was, like... He was a villain, and then now, later on, we're just seeing him not be so villainous, and it's just, like, a weird... It's just a weird change to see. Birds, we have to join forces in order to stop the plant, not join it. The birds are like, ha ha ha. Eek goes peck. I'm trying to all the all the zip lines are close off. I'm trying to figure out how to how to move on. Alright, I see it. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna jump off. That's a quick way to reset. Just right. die. I see it. Going for it. Stupid fucking... Like, Man. the two things we've gotten out of Baki are, uh, Yujiro Hanma, anime dad of the year, and, uh, the fact that it's written by an alien with very basic understanding of human anatomy. Yes. Who, that was a... Also, was like a, Biscuit, a Oliver. Biscuit, yeah, Oliver. Biscuit Oliver. Biscuit Oliver. Biscuit cool. Oliver's pretty cool. He, he, he can... T he, he, Who made the comment about it being written by an alien? Uh, a Redditor. Uh, ah. A person on the Reddit who was sharing... Uh, who was t talking about uh, the scene where, uh, where Yujiro was telling his son to fuck. Yeah. How do you think he reacted to... Uh, the, yes, just a bunch of sugar water can heal any human injury. That scene. That's it. I beat. I I finished it, and now everything's back to normal. What? I, I finished it. Over? It's, I guess so. Good job. Again. You saved everything. And the goats seem to have come to their senses again. <laughs> I don't really understand it, but I assume we have you to thank. Oh, there's no problem. We found this 
lost in a cluster of those flowers after they wilted again. You were pretty insistent on going after the others, so I guess it belongs to you? You're damn right it does. Thank you for helping us. So if they're goats, what are you? Are you lambs? Whatever. What do they look like? They look like uh, Vivi. Oh yeah, from the Black uh, Mage. The Black Mage from Final Fantasy. It's a little Pharaoh Mage. <laughs> also Jawas. Yeah. All right, I have uh, beaten that level. Here we go. What? No, not you. What are you doing here? He's just posing menacingly. Is your door closed? Yeah, it is. I don't, don't worry. It happened. Intruder alert. Oh no. Mustache girl's invading. Alright, I'm in. I made it. I infiltrated <laughs> that kid's without the alarms going off. I bet she's collected a ton more time pieces than I have. Don't tell me I have to play as her. I... Oh, dang it, why do I gotta sabotage myself like this? I'll stop you! I can't even hit you anymore. Oh, um, I'm immune. You have plot armor. Yes. Where does she keep them? Oh, uh, there's the vault. Where is the vault? Up next to the 40. Oh, okay. Jackpot! This must be where she stores them all. I like how in this continuity, Hat Kid is on the ship just watching her do this. Time to hey, see this? You better not. Oh no! <laughs> we just did so long! Hey, don't do it! I'm warning you! Time has been rewritten. We didn't even get through all the levels, did we? I think we did. What? Why are you here? I will. So, if you think you want to, we could go to the final boss now. Otherwise, oh. we stop here and come back next time. We'll come back next time. It's, it's like, what the? F Hold on. What have you done? What? The planet. Oh yeah, shit's fucked. Ruined. Everything is ruined now. How how could you? How could you, mustache girl? It's all lava cake. You. I can't believe. I can't believe you've done this. So you have 29 of them out of 40. So there's some probably some time rifts lying around, things like that. Probably. So this is a pretty short game, then. Ah, uh, yeah. We got those. We can do the final boss, and we still got the DLC to do in the future. Yes, and then whatever mods and uh, levels we want to uh, try. All right, well, that's it for today. We'll see. Uh, keep an eye on both. Uh, keep an eye on our channel. Both of us will do streams when we can. Sometimes together, sometimes separate. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.